What's going on YouTube and all you drunken misfits out there? Jeremy Glass here, aka I'm motherfucking drunk, y'all. And today we're doing another whiskey review. And today we are looking at Lincoln Straight Bourbon, 57.5% by volume. Uh, now you're going to try to read that because it's in some other shit. But Lincoln Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Good looking bottle, right off the rip, I have to say. Uh, based off Abraham Lincoln, I'm guessing we're going to read it to the back here in a minute and read all that. Uh, cast, uh, ca yeah, cask strength, barrel proof, and I like here on the top they got the penny. Uh, that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and look at the back of this. Abraham Lincoln, the bourbon oak stood for nearly 200 years on the sinking spring farm where Abraham Lincoln was born, one of the most famous trees in Kentucky. It stood 90 feet over 8 stories tall, and its branches spread 115 feet. As the name suggests, it marked one of the boundaries which would eventually become the first national monument to Lincoln. Bottled by Boundary Oak Distillery, LLC, Radcliffe, Hardin County, Kentucky. Uh, Non-chill, filtered, may contain sediment. Okay. Bo bottled in the county of Lincoln's birth. I guess that's what they're going off of because they're bottled in the county of Lincoln's birth. That's all it says and say if it has a thing has any other ties or anything like that. So, yeah, Lincoln Straight Bourbon. That's all it says on the back. There ain't no fancy card or nothing that comes with it like uh, some of the others had. The Four Roses. Uh, I picked this up for, I believe, $40. I picked it up a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, I think I picked it up for 40 45 somewhere around there. Um, There's a 750 mil. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, crack into this thing and get into it. Check out the cork, see how, what I think of it. Nice little sound, comes out decently easy, goes back in easy. Yeah, not a bad cork. Man, that actually smells a lot like Jim Bean. Uh, going off the smell right away, let's go ahead and get a little, little taste test here. Ooh. Smells like Jim Bean, tastes like Jack Daniels. Oh, and I fucking hate Jack Daniels. Yeah, that's the taste I get there is a lot of Jack Daniel like taste. Which I believe Jack Daniels might be cheaper, so you might be better off buying that if you're looking for to drink this straight. Um Ugh, not a fan of Jack. I mean it's exactly what that tastes like. Um uh, Going off the straight taste. Oh man, that was the first shot of the day. Should have drank a little bit before I started recording this early. Um, going off the first shot. Smooth. It's not really that smooth. It is not that smooth straight. Um, lingers. Lingers heavily. Um, taste, I'm not a fan of. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Jack, and that's exactly what that tastes like. Um, man, gonna give that a straight. I'm gonna give it I mean, I'm gonna give it like a four out of ten. I've had worse. I've had way worse, especially with that scotch I had. I was not a fan of that. I'm giving it a four out of ten for sure. But we're gonna go with a normal. We're gonna do a Coca Cola test, and we're gonna do a whiskey sour test. So jumping straight into the cola. I got a glass here. Uh, I was gonna put some ice in this, but I decided that I'm not going to just from the pure fact that uh, this cola has been sitting in the fridge all night, so no need to. Do one shot. And this is a small glass, so it's not going to take the whole can. I'm trying to do it as close to a whiskey set or a whiskey cola that you get in the bar. I said if I added ice, I'd be a little bit closer, but I'm not going to do that. About right there. A little bit more of the can still seems a little heavy. Right there. All right. Whiskey cola test. Definitely cutting through on it pretty heavily. Definitely smell it cutting through the cola. Whiskey cola test, not bad. Not bad. Not bad on that whiskey cola. Hmm. It doesn't cut through as heavy. As uh, some other lick, uh, some other whiskeys I've had, the Four Roses cut through a lot more than that one. 
Maybe I should have done the sequel and done it with the eyes. I'll, I'll make sure I do that next time. I'll make sure I put the eyes. That way it's all equal. I can't say it varied or whatever else. But from that aspect, I don't know why I'm putting that back on. Uh, from the cola aspect, not bad. You know, I could order that in the bar and be fine and happy with it. Uh, nothing special, nothing amazing. The Four Roses w went really well in that. i uh, give it a good little average. Uh, give it an average, you know, 6 out of 10 because it's nothing special. It's nothing terrible. It's just playing the road average there <laughs> with the cola. Now, let's go ahead and put it through the true test and make us a whiskey sour with it. These cubes are a lot larger than they normally get. I usually don't get ice on the dollar store. So we won't put as many in there since they're so large. Uh, again, we're using Finest Call Sweet and Sour Mix. Uh, there is a Whiskey Sour Mix. I prefer my Sweet and Sour Mix. Honestly, I tried the Whiskey Sour Mix and some other uh, Whiskey Sours, and I prefer the Sweet and Sour Mix straight over the Whiskey Sour Mix. So, my version of a Whiskey Sour, then, if this is the Sweet and Sour is wrong, this is the only way I see them doing the bar. Uh, they just don't ever fucking do it right. They put way too much of this every time. Like I said, we go three and a half shots. And, yeah. There we go. And a half. So we'll do three and a half of that. Then we come over to the whiskey, and we do a shot and a half of the whiskey. Shot and a half in that. Put a cap back on the cork there. The cork, I, I don't know if I give a, a review. Uh, put it back on there for the third or fourth time. I'm going to give the cork a... Uh, Still got 10 average cork, nothing special, nothing great, nothing terrible about it though. So, give it a nice little shake. Make sure you smile when you do it. Ah, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at cracking that off. Maybe I just had to break in, you know. Who knows? Straight away, you can smell the bourbon, uh, the, yeah, the bourbon cutting through. Uh, which is a good sign. Like I said, it smelt like Devil's Cut. I love Devil. Devil's Cut is by far my favorite in a whiskey sour so far. Hopefully these large ice cubes don't affect my measure. Perfect. Got that just right. Maybe use one or two less ice cubes with how large these were. I wasn't expecting them to be that large. Let that foam out a little bit. Settle out. So, man. I wish I, I should have done some research so I could have looked all fancy talking about like what president Abraham Lincoln was, you know, what number he was and all that stuff, some of the things he did. Could have gotten all fancy with it and made myself look better, but didn't do any of that. Uh, but yeah. Whiskey sour right there. Color's good. Smells good. Like I said, it's the whiskey smells actually cutting through. Like I said, one of my favorite things, and I'll talk, probably say this in every fucking video I do a review on. I love whiskey sour from the pure fact you get the taste of the whiskey without uh, some of the harshness of just drinking it straight because I'm not a straight drinker, but you still get some of the flavor profile of it, and that's what I love. Hmm. Man, that is, that is not bad at all, actually. I didn't think I was going to like it because, like I said, straight, I didn't like it really too much. It was just an average. Also, maybe being first shot of the day. I need to stop doing these videos first thing in the morning. I'll at least take a shot of something else just to get my my mind, my tongue, my body ready for it. Man, in a whiskey style, though, this is actually... Remember, pinkies up if you're fancy. Man, I want to give some taste notes of what's cutting through, but I just really can't put finger on it hmm. what's actually cutting through 
Uh, it's definitely not flowery like the Four Roses was. It's sweeter than Devil's Cut. That's for sure. It's definitely a sweeter whiskey when it comes to the caramel notes. I can definitely get some of that in there. It's definitely nice. Definitely nice. This will definitely be my drink for the rest of the night. Is using this because, well, it's all, one, it's all I have uh, for two. It's it's uh, it makes a good whiskey sour. I think it makes a better whiskey sour than the Four Roses did. That is for sure. Uh, I don't think it made a better Coke and whiskey uh, than the Four Roses did. Like I said, I, I I gave it what a six earlier. I said now I'm gonna stick with a six. Whatever I said earlier, I'm sticking with a six out of it because it's just average on the Coke and whiskey. Uh, on this though, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. Give it a solid eight in the whiskey sour. And then straight, I just gave it a six. So we're going to put it together and uh, talk about this whiskey as a whole. With the price in mind, oh, man. Uh, with the price in mind, I'm going to rank this whiskey right at a, yeah, I'm going to have to put it right at a, right at a seven, I suppose. Uh, overall, right at a seven. I hope I'm not ranking that higher than Four Roses. The Four Roses, I ranked higher because it was better straight. But. The price and everything. I'm putting yeah I'm gonna put this right at a seven, six six and an eight. I know you could average those together and get some fucking decimal points or whatever, but I'm I'm gonna put it at a I'm gonna put it at a solid seven, uh from my view because out of this it, it, this is a good this is a good whiskey sour. And some people will probably sit there and say, well all whiskey sours are good. Don't matter what whiskey you put in. That's not true. I've had some bad whiskey sours with some bad whiskeys. That Johnny Walker, for instance, that was just terrible. Which I was a scotch, it wasn't a bourbon. It was a whiskey scotch or whatever. Uh, it wasn't a bourbon. That could be said to it. But, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm enjoying this. I mean, shit, I've almost finished the motherfucker. Might as well, shit. Well, we're, oh, damn, we are, we are already over 10 minutes. I wasn't expecting to go 10 minutes long on this video. I was trying to keep it short and sweet, but here I am rambling on and on. I got to finish that whiskey and coke anyway, so. Whiskey sour, 8 out of 10. Coke, 6 out of 10. Whiskey itself, uh, straight, 6 out of 10. Overall, 7 out of 10, not a bad whiskey. Uh, 40 bucks for the price, I believe is what it was. I may be wrong. It may have been 50. I'm not 100% sure. It may have been 50. Uh, but, will I buy it again? Probably not. Uh, can I say I try it? Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like the bottle and everything. The cork I gave... Uh, Six out of ten too. So yeah, we're sticking with a solid seven at everything. Uh don't really I guess the only reason I named it Lincoln Straight was because it's made in the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln, but other than that, no other ties to him. Good looking bottle, I mean. It's a good looking bottle. Sorry. Posing there for a thumbnail or maybe a picture for Facebook or something, you know. Whatever it is. Gotta get all fancy with it. Uh, but yeah, solid seven out, seven out of 10, solid, great whiskey sour. So yeah, I guess my rambling's done a little, a little, little bit longer than I wanted to go on it, but rambling's done, made a good whiskey sour, bought a whiskey, going to drink it tonight, finish it, probably polish it, probably, yeah, probably going to polish this bottle off tonight with some whiskey sour. I got two bottles of sweet and sour, it's going to be a good Saturday night for me. Uh, and hope it's a good Saturday night for you or whenever I decide to upload this. And as always, you know, already know what I'm about to say. Stay motherfucking drunk, y'all. <laughs>